Hi everyone, it's Mrs Goodman here. I am the PLD for Year 9 and it is my absolute pleasure to be hosting today's assembly and presenting that to yourself as parents and carers but also to the Year 9 students. I just want to say how incredibly proud I am of many of the students in this year group for persevering through their work, for constantly communicating with learning consultants and the pastoral team but also as well a huge well done to your parents and your carers because I know that teaching from home, educating from home is not easy and I know many of your parents are still having to work alongside making sure that you are completing your lessons. So a huge well done. There's a number of things that I want to go through in today's assembly in regards to you know questions that have come up either by your parents or carers or things that you're already thinking of things like pathways and options um, and especially sort of the future of the citizenship exam as well so we'll go through those over the next few slides and we'll talk about sort of other commitments and other things that have cropped up over the last few weeks so having a look at last week's data based on the work submitted last week at least 90 percent of you are submitting one piece of work which is great you know that means that only 24 students aren't submitting anything we're working to increase that percentage because ideally we do want 100 percent of students engaging with the work and it is really important time for you year nine because you guys will be sitting your GCSEs in two years time so the work and effort you put in now will obviously contribute to those results looking at obviously the next point there only 50 percent of you are completing four to five pieces a week now what do, what that means is that actually if we consider all your core subjects so your english your maths your science your humanities and your mfl that is five pieces so that means only 120 of you are completing the five core subjects now i'm going to mention this um sort of after february half term in terms of pathways but those five core subjects you will be completing the majority of you will be completing so it is essential that we do that and that's excluding cloud nine and we want to make sure you are completing your cloud nine subjects as you may be selecting some of those for your options in terms of the work submitted please don't forget that if you get a green it means you've submitted a piece of work to a really good standard and responded well to feedback if you've submitted it as amber then it, you've submitted something but it may not be to the standard of the learning consultant requires and if it's red it means you've not submitted at all and i'll talk about the red in a little bit more detail because actually it depends on when you have submitted that piece of work but again we've got near enough 60 percent of the work that's been submitted that is to a good standard let's see if we can increase that over the next two weeks before the half term I just want to celebrate these students as as I was looking at the tracker last week I was looking at how many students complete all nine pieces of work so every single person um, that is on this slide has completed all nine pieces consistently and to a good standard as well so please can I ask you to join me in a huge appreciation for these students for embodying the academy ethos to seek for that which is good right and true hands at the ready appreciation on the count of two one, two, and just a huge well done. These are the people that you need to aspire to. Now, I know some of you may get very competitive, and as you can see, lifestyle uh, seems to have the biggest proportion of students who are completing majority of the work, followed very closely by communications. Next time I do an assembly, let's see who comes at the most, but also as well, I'd like to see a few more names because that'd be really nice to celebrate a few more of you guys. In terms of routine, I think it's safe to say that when myself and the pastoral team, so Miss Bree, Mr Simpkins and Miss Rosen, but also your tutors have been making calls, some of you are still in bed at 10, 11 o'clock. Now, I would say that is OK for a weekend, but for a weekday, you need to be up before nine o'clock and completing your school day as you would here. Now, even for nine o'clock start, you know that's a later finish than, sorry, a later start than it usually would be if obviously starting the academy. So the best thing to do is start at nine o'clock. We've mentioned to tutors that it'd be really good routine for you to follow your school timetable. Some of your parents have requested that, which is brilliant. Um, and it means then you've got a structure to your day. 
Now, you should not be completing more than three lessons a day. We don't want to tire you out. We don't want to exhaust you. But we also want to make sure you're engaging with the work well. It is essential that you keep to those three lessons. And if you submit work and you get feedback, you respond to it to ensure that piece of work is to a better standard. We do encourage regular breaks. So if you're in the academy, you'd get a break after period one and after period two. Don't work solidly for three, four hours because the well, the content of the work um, becomes reduced. And actually, the you know, I think the commitment there, you start feeling a little bit demotivated because you see it more as a chore rather than actually enjoying it. I think this is a massive point as well. A lot of you are still submitting your work on a Thursday and Friday. And this is where the issue is. If your work is submitted after the two o'clock deadline on Friday, then unfortunately you go down as red for that week. There does have to be a cut off point. And, you know, it might be on Friday, you need to start your day a little bit earlier to ensure that is submitted. Um, but it is really essential that you submit all your work every single day because that is something that the, your learning consultants can tick off the tracker and get prepared for tutor calls next week so routine is essential some of you and some of your parents have commented on you know my child's finished their work it's one two o'clock and i think a lot of you do power through and um, what i would say is make sure you check over your work is it to the standard that you'd produce if you were in the academy and if it is obviously await feedback but if you do finish early, there are a number of things that you could be doing up until three or four o'clock. One, including the reading challenge, which Mr. Dawes sent out via email. And if you have any queries about the reading challenge and providing and supplying evidence, you can email Mr. Dub or Miss Yafai. You've also got the spring challenge, which I sent out last week, which is due the first week after Easter. But making a good start on that means that you're not leaving it very last minute. And actually, there are many activities that us as pastoral teams have put together to make sure you can complete. But most of all, as you know, me being a maths learning consultant, you can complete a good amount of time on Hegarty Maths. Now, we always recommend an hour or two each week. And actually, it might be ideal to complete your Hegarty maths just after completing a maths lesson. So the days you have maths, maybe you should be completing an hour of Hegarty maths as well to really solidify and make sure you've understood everything in the lesson. You'll notice that this week uh, we have started sending out some tutor time PowerPoints. So this week's tutor time PowerPoint, the theme of the week is online safety and how to stay safe online. I think also here it is really important that you engage with this. It's not something that we expect any work back for. It's not something that we, you know, we want a response for. But definitely you engaging with that means that we know you're keeping safe online. Um, and that has been to, uh, put together by the pastoral team. Watch out for this coming out to you every week. It will always come separately to your other lessons so it doesn't get lost. And once again, if you have any questions or anything you can query, please contact us and email your tutors. In terms of pathways then, I know many um, of you have already started thinking about this and also parents and carers have. Um, Mr Mills, who's the vice principal, and sort of the lead in pathways and data. Um, we sat down yesterday and discussed a, an action plan uh, for year nine selecting their options. So I've just got some key dates on the side um, just to go through, but these will go through in a lot more detail that first week back after February half term. So the week after February half term, booklets will be issued about pathways and letters will be given um, to let you know whether you're on pathway one, two or three. Uh, the week after, you will then receive a phone call from a member of the pastoral team in regards to, you know, are you happy with the pathway that's been selected for you? And obviously talking about what pathways, what subjects are involved in each pathway and if you have any questions. And then option sheets will come out to you. Um, and you will be expected to bring that in or send that in via email. We'll talk about that, like I say, in a bit more detail on the week of the 15th of March. Um, and how to help you select your options, because you guys are in a difficult position, because we would usually do this in the academy. Um, we are going to be sending out and uploading uh, Loom Clip videos um, and subject specialists. So, you know, 
learning consultants in charge of health and social care and um, child development they are currently producing the loom videos to share with you to let you know what their subject is about and what is involved so just kind of watch this space um, and we'll definitely be releasing a lot more information the first week back after February half term but I thought it'd be good to share with you today on in this assembly uh, to prepare you in terms of GCSE citizenship, I know many of your parents, as well as yourselves, are a little bit worried about what the plan is with GCSE citizenship. And having spoken to Dr Mackay, you know, I know obviously, you know, the government announced that exams are cancelled. Um, but we are yet to plan what is going in place. I know for other GCSEs, um, there's going to be an internal exam, which is going to be marked by um, by internal staff. Um, however, we're yet to plan that for citizenship. Um, what I will say is that we will confirm with yourselves as soon as we know what is going on and there will be a letter sent out. Dr McCoy just wanted me to pass on that he's had about 50% of students engaging with the work. So keep that up. However, we would like a bit more engagement because all the work that you are producing for citizenship may go towards your predicted grade and if we're doing these calculated assessed grades that means that we're going to rely on the work that you've produced as well as some of the other stuff as well as well as the mock exams and when we actually come to do those mock exams next week just a few things to make a note of and i know tutors have already made these calls um there'll be parents evening calls next week as well as tutor calls so that includes so it's your monday period three teacher and um, that will be calling so please look out for that again that might be on a withheld number so please pick those up we are launching live lessons next week your tutors will have phoned home or the member of the pastoral team to explain how that works please keep an eye on your email because it will explain how to um, look at those live lessons and finally um, please keep looking at the pdf lessons that are being sent out and also that are able to view online those are really important and finally just want to mention as a sort of last thing before i uh, let you go um this week is children's mental health week which i know the pastoral team is putting together a tutor time powerpoint and i know miss breen's putting a lead into that um just to really look after your mental health it is so so important to talk about it to your parents um and vice versa parents to your children it is a really hard time for everyone winter is always tough um, and january is always one of the toughest months months of the year but we've made it through we're into February the evenings are getting lighter um, and things are starting to I say warm up but we're probably expected snow this weekend be kind to each other this is the time where we need kindness more than anything because it could be someone's positive comment that could lift us if you have any queries please get in touch and I've absolutely loved speaking to you today and hopefully I'll hear from many of you very soon Thank you. Bye.